I'm Shanna and today we are in our engine oil blending facility. This is our facility where we blend all of our oils for NASCAR as well as all of our fleet trial oils. Today we're going to be talking about engine oil differentiation or how to tell a good engine oil from a not so good engine oil. So first we're going to talk about viscosity grades. So most engine makers recommend multi-grade viscosity oils these days. So that means on the front of your engine oil bottle, you're going to see two numbers, okay? So this first number, the one with the W by it, refers to the viscosity grade, the SAE viscosity grade, when it's cold outside. The W stands for winter. The second viscosity grade number refers to the viscosity grade when the engine is at operating temperature. Remember, engines operate around 215 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to talk about the engine oil ladder of protection. So at the bottom rung in our ladder, we have an engine oil that has no additives, no protection, no specifications, no certifications, no nothing. So who knows what it is? It could be crude oil, it could be base oil, it could be something you brewed in your bathtub. We don't know. Above that, you have your API donut. Now the API donut is found on the back of the engine oil bottle. The current API rating is category SN. API stands for the American Petroleum Institute. And SN is the current category that we're on. If your API donut says API service SA, that actually means that it's not good for use in engines made after 1930. So make sure you're careful when you look at what letter category it is. On the front of the engine oil bottle, you'll see the API ILSAC Starburst. API stands for the American Petroleum Institute and ILSAC stands for the International Lubrication Standardization and Approval Committee. So if your engine oil meets the latest category ratings for GF5, it will have this starburst on the front. GF stands for gasoline fuel and 5 is the current category rating that we're on. Above that you have engine manufacturer specifications. This may include General Motors Dexo specifications, Chrysler specifications, BMW specifications, etc. Above that you have certain branded oils such as Pencil Ultra Euro which is recommended by Ferrari North America, and Pencil Ultra Zero W40, which is used straight out of the bottle to race for IndyCar. In addition to that, you have specialty oils, such as Quaker State Defy, which is boosted with zinc and can prevent up to 98% of future engine wear. Now remember, you should always look in your owner's manual to determine the correct engine oil to use for your vehicle. Now that you know how to choose a good engine oil from a not so good engine oil, you can make the best decision possible.